Hello again, everyone. This is Dr. Dan Bachman. Again, I'm a chiropractor here in Austin, Texas. I have a rehab clinic where we work on uh, pre and post surgical spine and extremity injuries. Um, today, we're answering questions from viewers. And, and uh, a question today, a minute ago, we had a question about uh, uh, someone had asked about their arm going to sleep. We have a similar question uh, Why does my leg go to sleep? And um, the short answer there are there are many possible causes for leg tingling, numbness, but numbness is always caused by nerve compression, something pinching a nerve or irritating a nerve. It ha it's always a neurological thing. It is not a circulatory thing. It has nothing to do with blood flow. A lot of people think, um, you know, if you were sitting on a hard bench, say for a long time, and, and your foot goes to sleep, and then the, you get up and you kind of shake your leg out, and it feels like blood is running back into your foot, that feeling where, oh, the numbness is fading away, my leg's warm, warming up, it feels like it's from blood flow coming back. Actually not true. So that, that feeling of the numbness fading and your, and your foot warming back up or feeling normal again, that's actually the pressure coming off the nerve and normal sensation returning. So it's always from a nerve being pressed somewhere or irritated somewhere. Now, all the nerves in your leg come from your low back inside your spine. So, so that means the pinch can be happening anywhere from inside your spine, uh, anywhere down the leg. Um, the pinch can happen and give you the symptoms downstream from there. So a big, a real common cause for uh, foot, leg, T uh, tingling or numbness is your sitting position. So if you're sitting with your legs crossed, like one cross over the other, that's a famous one because that just means you're loading one hip, the body weight more on one hip than the other, and, and over time it can pinch, pinch that nerve enough. It's not damaging it, but it can pinch it enough to give you some numbness downstream because it's cutting off the flow of sensory data that wants to come back and tell your body what your leg is supposed to feel like. That gets pinched off like a garden hose pinched and the water can't get through. Same thing with sensory data. So changing positions, if uh, changing positions relieves that numbness and the numbness goes away after you know 30 seconds or a minute, almost certainly that's all it is. However, it's always possible that you have some arthritis or bone spurs in your low back or a disc bulge that's pressing on that nerve that can give you those symptoms. So anytime, if you've had a traumatic injury, like you fell off a balcony or got in a car wreck, um, and then shortly after that is when your symptoms started, or if your numbness is getting progressively worse, it's happening more often, it's more intense, it's covering more of your leg, that's something worth going to see a doctor for right away, just to make sure that there's nothing big or scary wrong with you. Then, um, then it, as long as there's nothing bigger alarming going on or structural wrong with you, then the fixes become pretty straightforward. And they're usually um, stretching a massage are some of the best fixes for that, because that relieves the tightness in some of the muscles around the hip and thigh that can commonly pinch those nerves and give you those issues. Um, movement by itself, walking, is a great way to kind of warm up, loosen up the muscles and um, other soft tissues in your hip and thigh, and very often relieve that tension. So again, a leg numbness, not scary thing automatically by itself. Um, unless it's progressively worsening or it just happened after a big traumatic injury, I got hit by a car or something like that, then you're going to the ER right away to get that checked out. But most of the other leg numbness that people have, pretty simple fix in general, stretching and massage are the usual fixes. Uh, we'll talk more about these things in future videos, but I uh, hope that answered your question. And if you have questions you'd like me to answer, definitely leave those down below in the comment section. I'd love to get to those in future videos. And if you'd like to get, to get more of our videos, subscribe over here to ring the bell, and we'll look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks again.